Hello everyone. Um, now I've been thinking long and hard uh, about how I'm going to create a structured way of uh, sharing with you my content on software development. So as I figure that out, I'm going to release that in one of my next videos. In the meantime, I thought I'd come up with a short snippet just to show you some of the technologies we use in our coding development process and how we how we go about our development process in the applications that we make so have a look mark you a lot of this information is proprietary information so count yourself lucky that i'm actually deciding to share this knowledge and information with you i'll just keep it very simple i'll explain to you the technologies we are using these are solutions we develop here in-house developed by us uh, i'm the lead developer uh, should there be uh, any need basis I also have other developers uh, in my team both locally and internationally but uh, I'll just go into detail of the technologies we're using I think you can see from here my screen I've loaded onto code so uh, we focus our applications on .NET we develop our applications using uh, ASP.NET MVC that's model view controller MVC uh, with entity framework which connects us to our backend so with that with the language we use for our uh, ASP.NET Razor pages is visual basic.net I'll just show you one of the pages with HTML helpers so this this is the code behind uh, one of the views the views are controlled by controllers which is now pure visual basic code which uh, has uh, references to our entity framework which is connecting to a uh, microsoft sql server database so uh, this is how the entity framework uh, diagram looks we usually have the database we we do database fast coding so we connect we normalize the database we create the database we normalize it as you can see all these uh, are representation of the normalization with this entity framework diagram so once we normalize it then we uh, create a class library and create a use entity framework to create the objects for us i'll just go into a bit of history we have our windows version which uh we also use the visual basic.net however this uh windy this windows version we did not use entity framework we had coded we had coded the or rather we coded the object so you can see this is an example of the windows form so it, I'm, I'm just basically showing you my one of my applications this is the payroll i'm just gonna run it and just give you a, a brief very quick demo i'll put uh, links to the sandbox for this way you can test it uh, with your colleagues at your own time um, so basically the first version of this we wrote it we we we, we wrote the objects uh, uh, we coded the objects uh, or rather we coded the classes and we decided to upgrade to that's what that's the main reason that made us upgrade to entity framework because entity framework could do all this work for us so uh, our standard of application development now must be you know we must use entity framework we also have part of the logic of the application in uh, stored procedures on the database side so if we go to the database here uh, most of the straightforward functions like processing and moving periods producing uh, special reports uh, summaries calculations and running totals are done from the database ends we also have uh, triggers which uh, do some functions like when you're putting in hours and days or units and rates you know it calculates all that is done from uh, the database side we also have special for the data representation for many of many as you will navigate through the application many of the tables that you will see or many of the index pages that you'll see are reading from uh, summary reports 
you know which are have been predefined on the on the database so we also have um, application layer other summaries on the application layer and on the reporting layer so uh, I've mainly highlighted the uh, application side uh, how we represent the data from the application is through crystal reports let me just see if I can open crystal reports so we basically design custom reports on crystal reports any layout depending um, they are usually the default ones that come with the system and then depending on what the client wants we can make specific reports for for them custom bespoke reports which basically represent specific data that they want to see so we use crystal reports for that we use crystal reports version 8 version 9 version 10 and these reports uh, they come with their own redistributable files so the client does not have to buy the licenses for crystal reports they come with free redistributable uh, files so an sql server you you can get a free one from the microsoft website there is the express version which this, the application will run comfortably on so i'll just i'll just quickly take you through some of the features of the application so for example like this is a this is a payroll application we now on the front end and the user experience we now uh, also try to make it a rich user experience applications like you can see we, we try to basically make the software as user friendly as possible this because we understand uh, you know sometimes the end users who are going to use the application are not very conversant with intricate parts of it so having them perform certain functions is is very difficult so we try to make it uh, as simplified as possible i'll give you a sandbox i'll give you access i'll, I'll put the on the link the links to this where you can test this out uh, in the on the description box below just for you to go through it this is the end result of the uh, reporting module uh, where we design the reports in uh, crystal reports and then we connect them to the application so that you can have something like this i'll just open for example a sample payslip so once we've designed the you know depending now on the specifics we're able to customize the reports and then uh, connect them to the system so this is uh, an example of a pdf format we can generate different kinds pdf excel whichever whatever use the client needs which are downloadable as you can see there so this is a representation of uh, uh, one report so there as you can see there are many many reports you can go through this at your own time um, I'll also just uh, show you one last thing maybe I'll just show you another application uh, just to show you the different variations of what we can do um, I'm just going to load the school management information system this is currently being used in a in a school in a college this one uh, is also running on the same technologies I talked about it's called Informis. you can see there you have customizable logos everything so this is pretty much the same thing it gives you a dashboard with the summaries and everything so uh, this is how we develop our applications I, I hope this just gives you a better understanding uh, I know it's difficult to explain somebody else's technologies because uh, to someone else uh, so I've just tried to make it as simple for you as possible by explaining it for you in this video so all you need to do is just show them this video and it explains exactly what we are working with so you know um, it gives them a better a much better understanding of exactly what we are capable of doing so i'll just quickly just summarize this uh, i don't want to make the video too long i know you don't have a lot of time but uh, in summary we are microsoft we focus on microsoft technologies we are running on asp.net mvc 
so this is an IIS deployable uh, application so we are using Microsoft SQL as the database backend so you can see this is our IIS manager we have our applications here on IIS we are using Microsoft SQL as the database although this is uh, you know entity framework gives us a lot of flexibility so if the client is running Oracle or MySQL or any other database uh, provider for that matter we just simply can export this database into that format and then see still use the same application like for example with Oracle we we can connect this to an Oracle database as well that's not a problem although we don't specialize in Oracle because because of the licensing requirements a lot of uh, clients here in Kenya find Oracle quite expensive so most of them usually prefer the free version but that doesn't mean uh, we are not capable of of working with uh, the premium uh, premium versions like the enterprise editions of SQL and Oracle so I think um, I'll just leave it at that and uh, hopefully uh, you can pass this link on to your friends or people who are interested in who need help with any kind of solution it could be a small module it could be an invoicing module it could be a request module it could be a calculation module of some sort it could be a registration module and i'm sure we'll be able to do something for them um feel free to to let me know on what you think about this i'll put links to some of these applications which you can check out uh, on the description box below including websites we also do websites that run on mm, the same technology so you might think it's a website but it's actually an MVC application to provide certain functionalities like logging in and user registration and so on and so forth so I hope this makes it easier for you to understand what you had talked about and I hope this simplifies your work in explaining to your colleagues on uh, just what we're able to do